And we are back. RawStatus.com, Raw Status TV, YouTube, the Raw Status Instagram, the Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. So we're going to get into this all-star game that just went down last week, over the weekend, I should say, and some very interesting things. Um, they did some on-court tributes to HBCUs. They raised a lot of money for different HBCUs as well as other charities. And that's a good thing. Uh, they did some good things there, but I, I want to talk about the strategy and the underlying message and the underlying uh, actions that were emitted by not only the NBA, but the NFL as well. So what's going on with these tributes to HBCUs and these charities? Remember, this is a, this is a, a, a deflection. This is a red herring when it comes to what really went down with sports and as well as the riots of the summer of 2020. Now, here we see, you remember back when players were starting to kneel. Um, I always thought kneeling was kind of a cop out. I thought they should have sat on the bench like, Ka like Kaepernick did the first time. But that was starting to shed light on the human rights violations that are being committed by race soldiers, better known as law enforcement in America. And you remember President Pink Skin, the fat boy, the fat pig in the White House, started feeling some type of way. Remember, he started calling the black players names, um, started saying they should fire the SOBs. So my reaction to that is when someone is reacting to what you're doing, that means that you are doing the right thing if you have a goal in mind. You know, let's say that you're in a boxing match or a mixed martial arts competition and you punch your opponent in their abdomen and they kind of wince over in pain. What does that tell you that you should do? You should go right back to that same spot. So when Donald Dump started whining and bitching and when they started whining and complaining on conservative radio and conservative TV, I said one thing, the NFL players need to double down. Now, you remember they got a couple of sellouts like they always do. They got a couple of house Negroes and they paid them some money and had them set up some phony NFL charities. And now every other commercial is a, what do you call it? A feel good symbolic slogan about how hard racism is and being black and how I'm glad to be part of the NFL and the NBA because they're going to help ease the problem. You see, once again, we are falling for the trick bag for the white supremacist best play. And that is to act like they're actually amending or, or should I say repenting? Because I could say amending there too for their atrocities and their crimes. So once again, I say that we have missed the boat. We started getting some traction with the riots, with the boycotts. Do you realize that if these NFL or NBA franchises would lose, say, tens of millions of hundreds of millions of dollars a year, how fast they would call their governors and state legislatures and start telling them, look, if you want us to continue to pay taxes in your states, you better make sure our bottom line is straight. You better change some laws and start punishing these race soldiers for committing murder. And anything else that comes with real change to the system, meaning to the just us system, to the court system, to the police system. But you see, that won't happen because of two reasons. A lot of black people like to sell out, unfortunately, as well as you have a lot of players that aren't superstars that are riding the bench that need that check. Hey, I can't hate on you for that. But if all people, if all black people in mass were to straight up and down boycott professional sports, I think a lot more than we think would happen. Let me know what you think. This is Raw Status TV, YouTube. Leave your comments in the box.